Hello, this is part 15 of our comparative Bible study on the beginning of Jesus' Galilean ministry. During this part, we would like to discuss what Jesus' own city might have been. Overall, this is our 55th New Testament Bible study. During recent Bible studies, we compared three different accounts of Jesus healing a person with leprosy. At the end of the last Bible study, we wrapped up that discussion and began to talk about the next event in both the Gospels of Luke and Mark, which is Jesus healing a man with palsy. The Gospel of Matthew also has an account of Jesus healing a man with palsy similar to that in the Gospels of Mark and Luke. Albeit, unlike the Gospels of Mark and Luke, the account of Jesus healing the man with palsy in the Gospel of Matthew does not immediately follow the account of him healing the leper. The account of Jesus healing the man with palsy in the Gospel of Matthew is not until Matthew chapter 9. We'll jump ahead in the Gospel of Matthew and cover that account at the same time we cover the accounts in the Gospels of Mark and Luke. This is the account in the Gospel of Matthew that I would like to compare to the other two Gospels. I've highlighted different parts with different colors. Notice the part highlighted in yellow. When we compare this to the Gospel of Mark, I've highlighted some information there in gold, similar to the Gospel of Luke. I've highlighted some information in gold here also. These parts highlighted in gold appear to be additional information in the Gospels of Mark and Luke that is not in the account in the Gospel of Matthew. To make comparison easier, I'd like to take the top sections of each of these accounts and put them on the same screen. So here we have the top parts of each of those sections lined up together. Before we get into discussing the highlighted sections, I'd like to discuss an issue that I mentioned at the end of the last Bible study. The account in the Gospel of Mark notes that Jesus entered into Capernaum, whereas the account in the Gospel of Matthew notes that Jesus came into his own city. At the end of the last Bible study, I commented that I would like to discuss whether or not own city here in the Gospel of Matthew could be the city of Capernaum. To me it does seem possible. Although we know that Jesus was raised in the city of Nazareth in the flesh, and that he left from Nazareth to be baptized by John the Baptist in Jordan, we also know that after he was baptized that he went down to Capernaum. He and his mother and his brethren and his disciples. Granted, the text tells us that they continued there not many days. And then he went to Jerusalem for the Passover. But could this going down to Capernaum have been more than just a visit? Could it have been that maybe they shifted towns from Nazareth to Capernaum? right before they all had to attend the Passover, intending to go back to Capernaum after the Passover. Additionally, in Matthew chapter 4, we're told, When Jesus had heard that John was cast into prison, he departed into Galilee, and leaving Nazareth, he came and dwelt in Capernaum. So furthermore, could it have been that after the devil tried to tempt Jesus in the wilderness for 40 days, and maybe after Jesus returned from the Passover in Jerusalem, that when he passed through Nazareth, he more permanently moved to Capernaum? As further evidence of this possible shift, additionally, when Jesus apparently re-entered Capernaum, he entered into the house of Simon and Andrew. So it appears that Peter and Andrew were living in Capernaum and had a house there when Jesus returned to Capernaum. But we were told earlier when Jesus was baptized that Philip, Andrew, and Peter were of the city of Bethsaida. That was John chapter 1. But of course we were told later in John chapter 2 that Jesus' disciples, brethren, and mother and himself went down to Capernaum. So could it have been that sometime after Jesus was baptized, but before Jesus re-entered Capernaum, that Peter and Andrew moved from Bethsaida to Capernaum? Furthermore, if they moved to Capernaum, could this be more evidence that Jesus likewise basically 
moved to Capernaum, and Capernaum is now his own city. It seems worth considering to me. As a side note, before we remove these lower references, could the word house in our current Bible study, where Jesus is going to heal the man with palsy, be the same house as Peter and Andrew's? That would make sense that it was noise that he was in the house because Jesus had previously healed many people, including Peter's mother-in-law, and cast out devils in that house, not to mention all the other miraculous things Jesus has been doing in the region. Returning back to the Own City discussion, initially it would be pretty appealing to think of Own City here as being Nazareth, Jesus' hometown. If that were the case, then it would appear that these two accounts in the Gospels of Matthew and Mark may be two different events of Jesus healing a man with palsy. As you may recall, in New Testament Bible Studies 41 and 43, we discussed the term own country and discussed whether or not that could be Nazareth, and especially in the Gospel of Luke, it did appear to be Nazareth. Looking deeper at the underlying Greek word for country, it appears that from Strong's Accordance, this word is used only about eight times in the Bible and usually means to the effect of fatherland or native town, whereas the underlying Greek word indicated city here is used about 164 times in the Bible and usually is just translated city. So could it be that the phrase own country is more specific to indicate a hometown, whereas the phrase city here could be something more generic. Maybe it could be a hometown or some other kind of relationship. Could it indicate a current dwelling place, for example? So it seems that own country could be implying Jesus' hometown of Nazareth, whereas own city could be indicating another place. Expanding this discussion to Joseph and Mary, there are a couple of verses I'd like to discuss. Back during the nativity of Jesus, we're told, and all went to be taxed, everyone into his own city. Interestingly enough, this phrase, his own city here, uses the same Greek words as his own city in our current Bible study. We know that Joseph had to return to Bethlehem for this taxing because he was of the house and lineage of David. The Lord Jesus, also being of the lineage of David according to the flesh, could own city here be Bethlehem as well. Also in Luke chapter 2, when Joseph and Mary had taken Jesus to Jerusalem, we're told, and when they had performed all things according to the law of the Lord, they returned into Galilee to their own city, Nazareth. In this example, the underlying Greek word for city is the same underlying Greek word in the other two verses, but the underlying Greek word for their own is a different Greek word than the other two verses. So from what we've been talking about here, there appears to be three different options for own city, Nazareth, Bethlehem, and Capernaum. If these are the three options, it appears from the context of Matthew chapter 9 verse 1 that Capernaum seems to fit the best. There we read, And he entered into a ship and passed over and came into his own city. My understanding is that neither Bethlehem or Nazareth are on the sea coast whereas Capernaum is on the sea coast, on the Sea of Galilee, and possibly could be the city that Jesus entered into a ship, apparently, and came to. Accordingly, it appears that own city could be Capernaum, and all three of these could be accounts of the same event. The introduction to the Gospel of Luke does not state a certain city, but says, and it came to pass on a certain day as he was teaching that there were Pharisees and doctors of the law sitting by, which were come out of every town of Galilee and Judea and Jerusalem, and the power of the Lord was present to heal them. Although the Gospel of Luke did not mention a specific city, as we've discussed in previous Bible studies, the Gospels of Luke and Mark have been matching up very well, and it appears likely that these accounts are covering the same event. Let's stop here. If I got to share anything good, it's a blessing from God. Lord willing, maybe we'll have another Bible study in the future.